So I was just throwing away some things and I noticed this uh, mica capacitor and it measures 59 picofarads and I think that matches the uh, I think that matches the date the uh, color code on the front. But anyway, you can see here it's made in the USA. Nothing but the best. I went ahead and put it on the belt sander and ground it down. Um, and once I got it ground down, I was able to split it in half. So let me show you that. All right, so obviously this went on on top and uh, it did crack in half and it exposed a big mica. Uh, you can just see it here. It's starting to it's starting to lift up. It's held down with these little metal tabs. And I was hoping to get this mica bit out here. Now mica is a naturally forming mineral and it comes in thin little sheets. And then they must have interspersed these thin little sheets with something conductive. Yeah, see there's, yeah, I think I can just pull this apart here. I don't want to take that other one off. I want to kind of leave it together. Yeah, you can see all this little, hopefully you can see that. Yeah, these little thin sheets. Here's a sheet and here's a sheet. This one's kind of broke off. And then there's kind of like some aluminum, some type of metallic foil in there. So anyway, yeah, that's what's inside these things. And they take up nearly the entire expanse, which wasn't expected. So they are, I mean, I ground off part of it, but they are quite a large area inside this thing. Let me see if I can yeah, flip up that little tab there a little bit. Maybe I can get these guys out. Yeah, see that just slides out. Um, with the camera. Maybe I can turn the exposure down a little bit here. Probably a little bit better. But yeah, all these little sheets of mica. There we go. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of them. Huh. All right, well, it looks what's inside a mica capacitor? Mica. <laughs> surprise, surprise. Yeah. And half a dozen sheets or something like that? I don't know. Not too many. I don't think no more than half a dozen. Anyway. And then the uh, encapsulant kind of reminds me of uh, of um, Mel. Uh, what's the name of that stuff? Oh gosh, I can't remember the name of this stuff. Anyway, it's a uh, kind of a brown, kind of fibrous brown pre-plastic. Uh, I can't remember the name of the stuff. Anyway, there you go. That's what's inside these things. Pretty amazing.